Hey guys, so the Pro Tour announcement was today, uh, just a few hours ago. Luckily, I posted my video on the revised Underground C buyout, which I felt was very strange, but now it all makes sense. So on the Pro Tour, it was announced that Legacy would be played as a format. And that is relevant because previously it was not. Now, Star City Games, the night before the announcement, raised not just Underground Sea, which I noticed, but they raised the Volcanic Island, Tundra, Tropical Island. It's almost like they knew, they knew Legacy would be played on the Pro Tour again. It's very similar to Eternal Masters. It's similar to when Modern first came to be with the Zendikar enemy fetchlands. Eternal Masters, if you don't remember that, Star City Games ate up a ton of reserve list cards and dumped a lot of the reprints. So they knew what would not be reprinted would go up in price, what would be reprinted would tank in price, and they offset a lot of cards this way. If you knew beforehand of this information, you can make a lot of money because now I was wondering why does $500 for a revised Underground C seem kind of strange given that the marketplace is telling me it's $250, $300 for a good condition one. Why? The question is if you, the answer to that question, if you knew in advance, you could have a monopoly on the market. If you knew in advance that revised underground seats would be $500, then paying $300 for all the near American copies ones on TCG Player from other stores is a really easy math. It's guaranteed. So the uncertainty that you have in the risk is offset completely by the fact that you know what's already going to happen. I'm disappointed, but not entirely shocked or surprised. This happens with Channel Fireball sometimes. This happens with a lot of the bigger vendors where they get, I assume, advance notice. Remember, the whole leaking stuff, no matter how you feel about leaks, maybe you hate them. The fact that Axlon can leak before Hour of Devastation even gets spoiled tells you how, how far ahead and who's actually in charge and looking at these cards, right? It wouldn't be so difficult to assume that Wizard of the Coast invites these large store owners like Star City Games, Channel Fireball into, hey, we want your opinion on this new set. Let us send you a quote unquote God book with every single image. What do you think? Because that's happened in the past before. That's happened in the past where they gave books out months ahead of time to writers of these magic magazines and these writers also have magic pro friends so who knows how many people have actually seen the book we only know that one guillaume was caught and that was it but and that was they didn't do a increased investigation they just caught one guy and punished one guy but i assume that not just one guy received it it was many many people so Trios constructed, that is what is new. You need legal standard, modern, and legacy decks for the event. Makes sense. But look at that word, legacy. Uh, not a word that you would associate with the Pro Tour. So Star City Games and other venues, maybe they didn't, don't do it as boldly. This is a pretty bold move, right? It's a pretty bold move. And their stock was completely out. They only had one copy, one near mint copy at 500. So it wasn't like anyone could buy them out. They were well prepared and they already, already, I mean, set the market. The market is set. I don't know. It's quite interesting, but this is the reason that like people say, oh, you're, you're sharking people. You're taking it. You can never do on the scale of Star City Games because you don't have insider information. Star City Games will destroy you every single time because they know what cards are being reprinted probably months ahead of schedule. If a random person can go and get the whole Ixlon Rares and Mythics. What can Star City Games not get their hands on? A random guy. And a random guy got the, uh, the five color dragon deck. Like he, he apparently has like a physical copy of this deck. Um, man, it's like, okay, if these leaks are happening and the 
preview cards or giving to celebrities way ahead of time, then all it takes is one huge reprint or one huge card that did not get reprinted. So the key here for the Eternal Masters wasn't that they knew what would be reprinted. That's nice. But they knew what would not be reprinted and they went after those cards because those cards all spiked afterwards and were hot sellers. So to conclude, MT Finance is, it's, a, it's like the house, right? And when you go to the casino, you don't expect to win. Maybe sometimes you come out with a little bit extra money. Maybe sometimes you come out with a lot of money, but the large majority of people will lose because the house has inside of, the house always has the advantage. In this case, it's not even like blackjack. It's more like, it's like the worst, it's like a slot machine game actually. I would probably put it that way. There's very little skill involved and the house will win 95% of the time. And that is what MTG Finance has become because there's so much insider information. And I mean, you can actually spot these trends, right? I spotted it a day ahead of time, which was good, but, and I, but I only spotted for Underground Sea. I didn't know it was every blue and I'm so glad I made that video. So I made that video yesterday um, and when the video was made, I was like, ah, oh, maybe I'll post it at 3 p.m. But luckily I posted it at 11 a.m., which I assume is before the announcement, which just happened recently. Anyway, that is it. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think it's fair, unfair? Is this how business goes? Uh, remember, Magic is an unregulated market, so not only are they not punished for this behavior, they're encouraged to do it time and time again. And really, it hurts players, right? Now, Underground C is $500. I thought it was kind of funny. I was like, oh, Star City Games, what, what, what idiots? It turns out they're not idiots, right? And they know exactly what's going on. And people will need these $500 cards soon enough. $2,000 for a place that the cheapest. We're not talking unlimited. We're not talking alpha betas is insane to me. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.